everyone welcome to another router guides video my name is Humphrey Chung and you're looking at topology zero with our two routers and two loopbacks we're going to be playing around with rip neighbor statement so rip neighbor statement lets you send unicast updates instead of multicast updates and so therefore there is a slightly less chance of someone intercepting the packet or the information as it goes through the network a lot of times you will see oh maybe not a lot of times but possibly you may see this on the ccie lab when they say something like your rip updates should not be intercepted going across the link so this is the command to use or you know possibly one of the commands to use so we're going to go over to router one i have everything up and running in terms of ip addresses we'll just do show ip in br just get into that habit of doing that just to see if your interfaces and ip addresses are correct and we're going to fire up rip, very easy stuff. Rip version 2, no auto, life is good. Uh, actually, I'm going to also change my timers 5, 15, 15, 30, just to make things a little bit quicker. And then the standard network all zeros to throw all of my interfaces into rip. This is my standard rip configuration that you've probably seen millions of times. Going to do a similar configuration over on R2. Actually, it's going to be the exact same. Router rip, version 2, no auto, timers basic, 5, 15, 15, 30, and network of all zeros. And with that, we have full connectivity, or we should have full connectivity if I show IP route. There you go. And from router 2, I will ping the loopback, and the ping should work, and there it is. All right, so that's a basic RIP configuration. Nothing new, nothing too fancy about that. But as you will see, this has multicast updates going between the two routers. So I'm going to start debug IP packet. And every five seconds, I should have a bunch of stuff. And you can see here coming from, whoa, stop that. So one of my packets over here was source 10.10.12.1 going to a destination of 224.009. So that's a multicast update with the routing information. Okay, not a big deal. Let's see if our neighbor statement can stop that. So I'm going to actually configure this on both routers. Let's start on router 2, router rip, and neighbor statement. Actually, let's do a question mark there, and you can see here we do have neighbor right there. Specify a neighbor router. Okay, so neighbor, question mark, and we have an IP address, 10.10.12.1. Let's see if anything comes after that, nothing. So I just hit enter. Then I'm going to go over to router 1, neighbor, 10.10.12.2. And we'll let that sit for a couple seconds, show IP route. I still have connectivity, that looks pretty good. Show IP protocols, let's see if anything is different there you can see here under show ip protocols that it does say neighbors 10 10 12 2 right there and of course router 2 will say neighbors 10 10 12 1 show ip route i still have connectivity and if i do a ping to all twos i can get there okay so my neighbor statement seems to have worked i'll show run just to see how it looks inside of the running config and you can see right there, I've got my neighbor statement there. Okay, also my network statement. But, as you will see now, if I do a debug IP packet, you'll see something strange. I'm going to let that go for a couple seconds and then you all to stop it. There we go. So remember, I'm on router 1. The stuff I'm looking at would be router 2, 10, 10, 12, 2. So we have this, source 10, 10, 12, 2. And look at here, destination 10, 10, 12, 1. So that is a unicast update. That's pretty cool. So we have that update as well. Life is looking good. But as you can see, I've got an update 10, 10, 12, 2 going to 224.009. That's multicast. So even though I do the neighbor statement, the interfaces are still sending multicast, which is kind of weird. So neighbor statement all it really does it doesn't kill multicast updates it merely starts unicast updates so the multicasts are still going in the background not a problem we can 
do a command that we learned in a previous video, which is the passive interface command. All we have to do is go back into the router rip configuration and passive interface fast zero zero. We'll fire that off on router one and we will also do it on router two. I'm already in rip on router two, passive interface fast zero zero. Go back to router one. So we have our fast timers of 5, 15, 15, 30, show IP route. I'm still good. I still see a loop back on router two. So I'll ping it. Life is good. Show IP, uh, show IP protocols. And you can see here that passive interface is indeed set when I do a show IP protocols. Let's do a show run just to see how the running config looks. And I hit space a couple times somewhere in there. There we go. Router rip version two, timers basic, passive interface, fast zero zero. We have a network statement and we have a neighbor statement. Okay, so the moment of truth, we do a debug IP packet. And let's see if we have multicast coming down our pipe. You all. Okay, so what do we got here? We've got a source of 10, 10, 12, 2 and destination 10, 10, 12, 1. Okay, that's unicast. And I don't see anything else coming from 10, 10, 12, 2. That's another unicast. So unicast, unicast. No, no multicast coming from router 2. And that's exactly what we want. All right, so if you see something in your lab or test saying you need RIP updates going across from router 1 or router 2 or two routers, but there cannot be any multicast traffic, okay? So you only want unicast traffic. The neighbor statement is part one of it, so you need a neighbor statement, but then you need to follow that up with a passive interface command to stop the multicast updates. So it's a two-part answer when, we're, when you're doing neighbors and multicast statements. All right, thanks for watching.